Hey everyone, it's Ryzen. Welcome back to, uh... A very random cutscene. <laughs> uh, Grandia. Oh, that's actually back where we came, I think. Which is odd. Yeah, some, it, it's hard to tell sometimes whether or not you've accidentally switched the, uh... Compass the wrong way. They fix that in uh, Grandia 2 by telling you which one you're going to. Let's uh, leave in some bottles here. I hope not time. Still working on axes, maces, and knives, as well as a little bit of fire for. For uh, Sue. Everyone else is done with their stuff other than their one weapon. All right, we won. Maces for Justin and knives for. Yeah, she's pretty close to getting off. Uh, getting off of having to work on fire for now. Getting done with fire for now. Let's see where we are here. We want to go all the way to the south. There's an item down here. Somewhere. It's uh, money. Yep, that's what it is. I want to head over to the right here. It's dungeon scope. We've got uh, more of these idiots. The second half of the dungeon isn't going to take me as long because, well, we don't have to leave. There is a second mana egg here, which is very odd, but, well, it exists. Let's see if we can get a nice burn going. It'll hit a couple of them and maybe finish off her fire. I don't even care to get Burn Flame for Sue. I mean, that's not what I'm doing. I'm getting that skill on her list that requires three fire to earth. And I believe... Nah, he's gonna get poisoned. And he's targeting Sue. See, I was trying to... I was trying to get him to run out of movement, but unfortunately, she was still too close to him. The bubbles are the sleep state, unfortunately, and it's annoying. Sleep will wear off after battle, unfortunately. Poison will not. Much to it, really. All right, we won. Mm, one or two more casts of it, I guess. Probably two more. Two more enemies have to be hit by it. I don't care at all about regular levels. Pay no attention to those at all. I mean, they just—they mean so little in this game. You think they would mean a lot with uh. <laughs> You know, you get the fact that you get multiple stats, but... The reason why regular levels really don't matter in the long run... Is because you get just so few of them. I think that was 60G, yeah. Which I know sounds really odd. But, I mean, endgame level... Is like in the 20s. Yeah, this is a very strange game in that regard. Typically, endgame level in RPGs is 50s, 60s, sometimes 70s. Unless, of course, you're playing my game, which endgame level is over 100. <laughs> that was the way I'm going, but... That's because I didn't really plan when endgame level was going to be. I just can't go. It doesn't really matter to me that much.
Feather Shuriken. That does not confuse you. But it does do a decent amount of damage. Yeah, the one that confuses you is called Confusion Ring. Uh, wing. Sorry, Confusion Ring. Or Confuse Ring, or Wing, or something like that. Why do I keep saying Ring? Wing! With a w. Jeez. Gonna get you now. So it's not good. Fire leveled up. Hip, hip, hooray! Oh, that's odd. I thought that was going to be enough to uh, give her a fight. Oh, it's Mace level 8, isn't it? Okay. Yep, that's why. So, we almost got it. Part of the reason why I'm also showing off the battles again is because I want to actually learn that ability on screen because it is what I consider the best leveling ability in the game. Luna, can you stop scratching on that over there, please? Yeah, I consider it one of the best leveling abilities in the game. I mean, it's just amazing. It really is. Oh. Eh, luckily, these guys are pretty easy. Pretty easy. Not bad, eh? <laughs> she needs a. Uh... Two more combos, probably. Three more hits, it looks like. The experience that you get per attack does depend on the enemy you hit. And how strong they are relative to you. And the relative power level of your... Whatever you're working on. I think that's the way it works. I think it's fixed. enemy. It, it's kind of similar to FF2, if I remember right, where enemies have different sort of rankings that determine how much they give you. What and then as you level up, you kind of get less and less out of the deal. I could be totally misremembering that, because I, I, I pay so little attention to it, I just focus on working on things as I go. And sort of dragging out the battles, and... Doing the best I can to work on things. Well, I guess we already got the 60G that was there. We gotta go north. Sometimes I'm talking and I don't really remember that I get money, particularly because money doesn't have the menu pop up and that's really weird. The only reason I know how much it is is because uh, my source tells me, so. Got some strength fruit. I might eventually use that on Justin, but not for a long time. You can use it on him if you want. He's probably the best to, to do that with. You think that'd be like some sort of shortcut, but it's not. Oh, there's another enemy. This ought to do it. For Sue's fight. If I can get it, I will use it a couple times here. The one downside to learning the fight ability. Let me get Sue out of there. There we go. I wanted to get Sue. There it is, away, because I didn't want her interfering with Athena's attack. There comes Sweet Gas, right? And that's going to prevent me from losing fight. Oh, it's going to prevent me from doing anything. Well, that sucks. Somehow I wasn't poisoned. Can you please take care of that guy before he does that? There we go. Okay, fight. It costs 16 SP, and it is what I consider the most broken ability in the game. Let's, uh, let's not use it here, because this is not a clean battle for Sue. She'll have other experience. Not bad, eh? But on the next battle, let's go ahead and, and make use of that. There's a few more chests, I'll probably edit out 
have the remaining battles after this. That's where we just were, right? Yeah, we don't want to go there. I'm gonna go this way. And then keep going to the south, I believe. Yes. We need to go all the way to the south. That'll give us a, a ginseng, theoretically. Defeat these inchworms, no big deal. Now, fight doesn't do any damage, but uh, we only have three characters, so keep in mind when we get a fourth character, it'll be even better. Let's go ahead and take you, make use of it. It looks ridiculous, but whatever. Twice right now, I believe. I am going to do so. Now, one thing you can do, and I will be doing, but not right now, is uh, abusing save point recovery to consistently use this over and over and over and over and over again for battle. It does drag things out, but it is totally worth it. I'm not going to do it after each and every battle. That would be silly, but I'd like to use uh, one of these per battle. Here, I'm just using two of them just because I'm not going to be going back to the save point. But if I'm if there's ever a save point available, one per battle I think is pretty reasonable. So every other battle I have to go back to the save point. Nope, I want to have her defend so I can show you just how ludicrous that is. Not bad, eh? So for two fights, she gained. 48 weapon skill and 24 fire and 24 earth. Yep. It, it's a guaranteed 24 weapon and 12 fire and earth per battle. 16 if we had four characters. And, um,. 32 weapon skill, I think, if we had four. Yes, I think it's eight per character for weapon and four per character for the elements. And it's it's whatever weapon you have equipped. So in this case, the mace. But if I have the bow equipped, it would work for the bow as well. So that effectively gives her a way to level up four different abilities uh, fairly easily. Actually, I'm going the wrong way. That's the exit. I want to get the skin first. Well, and apparently we're going to get this money first. Alright, keep going. Get the, That's uh, 180 G? Yeah. I got to go to the west. Okay, let's go uh, over to the west here. There's going to be another item over here that I don't think I got. Yeah, skin sing. One more item. And this is the mana egg. It's the only thing we have left to get. I'll just head over here, past the dungeon scope. Hopefully we're done with enemies. I don't think we are though. Actually, are we done with Justin's axe? No. We do need one more enemy. Alright, keep going. Get the mana egg, which should be right here in theory. Oh, guarded by this guy. Okay, get the mana egg. I don't know what I'm going to use that for, but... Oh, okay. I see what we're going to use that for. We'll do that on the next episode. I'm going to be getting wind magic for Fina, if you're wondering. Wind, I think, is one of the most common weaknesses in the game. So, I'm going to get to that. Here's the exit. Boom. Alright. Next time we'll uh I'll head back to town and buy that item. Or do that get the 
the, the thing there. The, the, the wind, uh, wind spell. Wind magic. Then we'll go to the Dahmer ones. This is Ryzen. Thanks for watching. Uh, take care.